side of the map. They've got a lot of disengage coming through from Sync Dream, but that could be something that could be a little bit of an issue here because this is the first time we've seen Sync Dream on a champion that isn't sort of... See whether he goes for it. Yeah, he's actually coming through with that tunnel there as well. Preseeker finds Sync Dream, but that is all she wrote there. Dada in the meantime, though, he's going to fall down to Xiaohu. No, Huey going to lock down that kill. Zero. So he's looking for the Jana shield to go on for him to be able to get the big one. As Dada is ganked again. Yep, and he's just going to get exploded. There's not really too much to say about that. Shocking Orb went wide, but when Xiaohu has multiple damage abilities, he's going to be able to lock that one through. And Huey... Having a great game on this Jarvan. Yeah, he certainly is being able to get in there and he's really set up the camp as the hook lands again. Yeah, there's the Ignite. It is going to come down here as well as Tail in a lot of trouble. There are so many members of M3 going after this Corky. As he does use his flash to get a little bit of guaranteed damage onto Rek'Sai and Looper taking some turret hits as well. But there's right of the Arcane. He's looking for something as Xiaohu doesn't find Condi as that was where his aim was. And is going to be M3 coming out ahead. Yeah, and did Red Side ultimate Oh my though? goodness, shocking off, doesn't find Condi, but nowhere to run. And that's done. Oh, the dodge on the Ardent Blaze. There's Love City just getting knocked up by that one. Flashes out of the way, but of course that means that Cataclysm is so... Being used to poke out Candy pretty effectively as Loopers. Diving on to Let Me here, but the turret doing a whole lot of work. Of course, this Maokai, very tanky with the Righteous Glory, actually used Jungle's that. both coming up. Yeah, there's the flash of the Twisted Advance. Huey picks up another kill. Condi, you have to think he's going to fall down as well as the Ignite. Not enough. <laughs> just a bit of a lane. Continual poke coming through now from this lane. He actually tailed. Is more than happy to throw out all of his mana's worth, but there's Right of the Arcane being put down here as well. As Dade comes into this bottom side, Huey locked up underneath that turret. He is not going to be the first one to fall. The heal comes through. Huey is going to die eventually as Dade picks up that kill. Gets the... Going to be a free first dragon. Oh, unless Condi can steal it. He doesn't manage to. Gets locked down here as well. Can't get to the Dark Passage. And Xiaohu, another kill. There's four members in this bottom lane. Love CD is now going to see the bad news and think, what did I just get myself into? Yeah, he is having some very difficult times towards this bottom side of the map and that Thresh. They really didn't take out my child, instead engaging. Yeah, Love City actually forced to use that flash to get out. That's going to mean the Cataclysm on top of him, but in the backside, Looper's here. There's the Onslaught of Shadows as Dade is looking to almost fall down to tail. No, the rocket doesn't land as Candy now looking to do some work. Let me, just on his own in no man's land. There's the Sapling, not going to be enough as the heal came through and helped him out. Looper's eventually going to fall down. The trader top laners is going to come through. He's looking for something here on the back line. Love City and Condi. Oh, he's on top of Zhao, who's not able to do anything. Candy picks up that kill. Let me now. Right in that front line, exactly where he wants to be. And Tail, he's just turned and ran from this fight. Nothing going to go. So Corky now with all the poke trying to get something done. Yeah, Huey actually taking a lot of damage from these Sand Soldiers over the edge. Doesn't get the steal, nor does he have the flash. And Condi gets the Baron. And Beneficiary of the pressure around the map as we see a fight starting. Yeah, Candy actually losing a lot of his health here. Right at the Arcane, looking for it as Xiaohu. As in the backside, Looper discovers the carries. Monsoon doing fantastic work, but Dade jumps in as well. He's just going to get blown up though. Ganty looking much better in this fight as Looper going to get smashed back. Tail picks up that kill onto him. Condi and Love City, the only ones alive as the Dark Passage gets taken and Condi's going to be okay. The Baron, of course, not available here, but Ganty looking to try something in order to get themselves a further ahead in this game. Yeah, so they're able to pick up the winning team fight. They get four, they get the clean ace in the end for nothing, and we'll be able to chase them into their jungle, and the fight started. Yeah, the fight started, of course. Ganty starting that one up very early. Tail's going to be able to take down the turret here as Looper finally makes his way into the backside. There's the ultimate to come through from Jahu. He's not quite dead yet as the peel to come down from Ganty. Condi doing some work trying to lock down this. Zareth has still got that Zonya's Hourglass available. Tail's going to take down Looper, though, and Maokai is so tanky in this fight. Eventually, it's still just going to be a wave in this fight. Descent's not going to find it. It's down so low. Tail picks it up. Looper's into the backside here as well as the Ventral Maelstrom really helping out the team. The Cataclysm onto Dade. Xiaohu right over the side, but he gets knocked out of his ultimate by the Onslaught of Shadows. Xiaohu, Huey now trying to help the Zareth, who's completely out of mana. Tail coming through as well. There's the Zonya's Hourglasses. M3 are trying to clean up this fight. The double kill for Dade. He is massive in this one as Love CD picks up a kill. And M3, they lose the Baron, but pick up an easy team fight. Yeah, what an amazing fight coming out for M3. They're 
Loop is so strong. Confany can take this one up. Now swapping it over to Condi. They lose the bottom lane turret just because of that massive minion wave. But in the end, they're going to be able to crush through this, pick up the first inhibitor of the game of the very well fun te one team fight. Yeah, that was beautiful play. And we saw the fact that Looper, he's just so difficult to deal with now that he has so many defensive items. There was almost nothing Zhao Hu could do. He was like trying to squat this stupid horse smacking him in the back and M3 aren't stopping here as well. They've got a Baron available on the side of Ganty, but not anymore as the Nexus